tourist tax collections are dropping just as Orange County works to figure out how to spend billions of tourist tax dollars. Watch News' Greg Fox is taking a look at how long the drop could last. From the beaches to the mountains to an overseas trip, people are still booking. Booking vacations they may have put off through the COVID-19 pandemic and until they got their work lives and their family lives back in order. According to a new survey from Booking.com, the big picture on travel looks like this. 86% of people say they are spending the same or more on travel as last year. 73% are more enthusiastic about traveling. And 55% say this year they're after more off-the-grid or chill destinations. The most searched destinations internationally? Paris, London, Barcelona, Rome, and Dubai. And domestically, New York, Las Vegas, and Myrtle Beach. While things may be looking up in other parts of the country and maybe even other destinations in Florida, right here in Central Florida, we've seen a drop this summer. People can't afford to, you know, take nice trips all the time. That's just one reason Orange County controller Phil Diamond believes travel to the region has cooled this summer compared to last. It's having a serious effect on the bottom line, with April tourist development tax collections down 3.5 percent and in May down 6.7 percent compared to those same months a year ago. June is also projected to see a decline. That two-month decline amounted to a drop of nearly $13 million in the taxes collected on hotel and motel stays. I think part of it is the fact that last year was so good and that now this year uh, there's more options for people to travel to or maybe people went to Orlando last year and they might want to try something different this year. The drop comes just as the county is considering investing $3 billion in future collections to expand the convention center, add a roof to Camping World Stadium, and upgrade the Amway Center and Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center, among other projects. The change in destinations is helping one area of Central Florida, Port Canaveral, with bookings this year projected to exceed pre-pandemic levels. Greg Fox, West 2 News.